night to date. Welcome to Monday Night Walker episode 25, ladies and gentlemen. This card is oof. I don't know if oof is a bad thing, but in my world, it's a good thing. So, I mean, Jaron and Kevin Owens is going to kick off the night. We haven't seen much of Jaron in a while, and uh, neither of we have seen Kevin Owens. The winner of this match will be the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Yay! Because why? Why not? Um, matter of fact, let's just go through the entire, the entire card. Uh, we have a ladder match to determine the number one contender for the Divas Championship as Brie Bella takes on Cameron, who takes on Nikki Bella, who also takes on Natalia, who takes on Naomi, who takes on Summer Rae. <laughs> so that's going to be our second match of the night. Third match of the night, Brock Lesnar, the man who got defeated by John Cena last night at SummerSlam in probably the quickest match of the night, is going to take on the man who finally beat The Undertaker for the United States Championship, a man who has held two titles now in World of Walker Entertainment, Daniel Bryan. So that's going to be, that's going to be fun. All right, and then we have a elimination six-man tag team match, The Shield. Dean Ambrose, who is now the new Intercontinental Champion, by the way, and will take on either Jaren or Kevin Owens at Night of Champions, is going to team up with his partners of The Shield, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, to take on Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Woods. Because I because I said so. Um, <laughs> because why not? We also have a one-on-Juan match between Randy Orton and Rusev. Rusev is the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And Randy Orton's just there. Then, oh, but wait a second. Is it over? No, it is not over. Not by a long shot, ladies and gentlemen. Because in our main event, Neville. Neville. Freaking Neville is going to take on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena. Now, if and only if Neville can beat John Cena, then he will become the second number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and will have a triple threat match at Night of Champions between Neville, John Cena, and Rusev. So you gotta wonder, the landscape could change right now here in World Walker Entertainment. Of course, Neville has yet to win a match, but can he do it tonight against the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena? Ooh. That's a good question, and I'm glad you asked. But we're going to find out later tonight. Because right now, we're going to start with this number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship, Jaron and Kevin Owens. I'm excited. I'm very excited. You should be excited. We are all excited. What a night SummerSlam was last night. Four new champions. Four totally new champions. Uh, who was it? First of all, the night started off with that amazing six-man ladder match. That will, that will be a six-diva ladder match tonight. Um, of course, Rusev winning that match to become the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Then we had the the New Day, Kofi Kingston and Big E. Uh, finally, the Usos were finally defeated in tag team action. And the New Day is the new, are the new tag team champions. Oh, man, it's unbelievable. And then... Then AJ Lee, of course, pinned Summer Rae to become the new Divas Champion. And we'll find out who the number one contender is for the Divas Championship after this match. Then... We... Um... What did we have? Oh, yeah, we had a freaking, um... Uh, the Iron Man match between Sami Zayn, the Intercontinental Champion, and Dean Ambrose, the former Intercontinental Champion, and then Dean Ambrose regains the title. He wins the title back. And then, of course, who can, who can leave out last, but certainly not least, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan last night at SummerSlam beat The Undertaker. The Undertaker has been unstoppable since he won the United States Championship back in April. And now... Daniel Bryan is the new United States Champion, and he'll be taking on Brock Lesnar, the man who lost the only person in a championship match to not win the title. Brock Lesnar, who lost against John Cena in our main event of SummerSlam. 
looking to beat the United States champion, Daniel Bryan. We have not heard from The Undertaker since that match with Daniel Bryan. Right now, we got to get to this number one contenders match between Jaron and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is going to be very brutal here tonight. Kevin Owens, I think, has only won one match. Well, Jaron is a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So we'll see how that plays out right now. But <laughs> Kevin Owens' entrance hasn't even started yet. So as we wait for him to arrive, there he is. Look how, look how intimidating this guy is. Oh, thank you, troll, for saying that you like my commentary. You're, you're cool. I like this guy. Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta start paying more attention to the chat, man. I really do. Uh, let's see. Oh, where's my thing? Uh, by the way, for those of you uh, who are also watching on Twitch right now, I upload Monday Night Walker and free reviews, which is like pay-per-views, but free on YouTube.com slash games. If you miss SummerSlam, some, my SummerSlam broadcast, you can catch it when I'm uploading it today, as a matter of fact, on YouTube.com slash games. All one word, S-M-A-L-L-A-F-R-O-G-A-M-E-S. Uh, tons of other content on there. It's going to be amazing. Let's get to this number one contenders match, though, for the Intercontinental Championship. And right off the bat, Jaren with a clothesline. Pulling Kevin Owens in and delivers that clothesline, taking him down. Oh, but Kevin Owens... Comes right back with a shoulder tackle. Oh, my God. Splashing down on him. Now Jaron back to his feet. Wait a second. A German suplex, sort of, by Jaron. Tries to stomp on Kevin Owens and gets back to his feet. Oh, and another shoulder tackle, I guess you can call it a shoulder tackle. But Kevin Owens, and again with that splash, using his back on the chest of, uh, oh, excuse me, Jaron. Oh, I, by the way, I am also going to... That other company, not World of Walker Entertainment, but World Wrestling Entertainment. I'm going to uh, to SummerSlam tonight. I live in New York, for those of you who don't know. And um, I'll be there tonight, so I'll be uploading a vlog. Uh, probably like two hours after the pay-per-view ends. i got to get time to get home and edit the, the, the vlog. So hopefully you guys can be able to see it then. But then, oh, here we go, Jaren, looking to become the new number one contender. Remember, this man is going to be facing whoever wins this match. Oh, look at that! Red Arrow, that's Neville's finishing maneuver one. Oh, and Ke Kevin Owens kicks out. Holy crap. Whoever wins this match is going to have to take on Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship at Night of Champions. And of course, I like to add in these little stipulations here and there, like seal cage or no holds barred, something like that. But we'll see what happens. Sometimes I just like to do a one-on-one -on -one because so why not? And Jaron pulls Kevin Owens back, but Kevin Owens catches him. Delivers a headbutt, takes Jaren down. Jaren now getting back to his feet, grabs his leg. Oh, and a oh, huge clothesline taking down Kevin Owens. Now Jaren, wait a minute, stomping on the chest of Kevin Owens. Jaren was only the uh, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion for about <laughs> six day five days, as a matter of fact. He lost it to Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match. But now Jaren looking to become the next Intercontinental Champion. Dean Ambrose, by the way, is a three-time Intercontinental Champion. He regained the title last night against Sami Zayn, the man who beat Dean Ambrose at Battleground. But uh, SummerSlam last night was amazing. It was historic. And we're moving on to the Night of Champions, which is pfft, it's going to be hard to follow, but we just might do it. And now Jaren, wait a second, trying to pick up Kevin Owens. Can you imagine the strength? Wait a minute. Oh, Jaron went for oh, what I assume was a, a finisher there. But Kevin Owens reverses it. Oh, and Jaron slams Kevin Owens down into the mat. Picking up his knee now. Slam. Oh, man. And Kevin Owens gets back up to his feet once again. And another shoulder tackle. Seems like that's all that Kevin Owens can deliver right now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Does Kevin Owens have a finisher in the tank, does he? Well, oh, no. Grabs Jaron, but Jaron... I guess we'll never know. Oh, man. And now... No, oh, another clothesline. Unbelievable. Now Jaron dragging Kevin Owens to the middle of the ring. And another leg drop onto the neck area. You saw his, 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 uh, his calf landed right on the throat of Kevin Owens. And what a neck breaker. And now Jaron... 
Jaren has been it, it, it's so dominant in this match. Wait a second. Jaren picking up Kevin Owens. That's Brock Lesnar's finisher. But that's Jaren's signature. Delivers the F5 to Kevin Owens. Is that enough to become the new number one contender for the WWE Intercontinental Championship? No, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens somehow found a way to kick out of the F5. But wait a minute. Oh, Kevin Owens. Uh-oh. Jaren, another German suplex to Kevin Owens. Jaren gets a style from really everybody on the WWE roster. He saw he delivered the red arrow, which is Neville's finishing maneuver. We saw the... Uh, oh! Oh! Goes for the, that big right hand. Kevin Owens with the neckbreaker. Jaren has the F5 in his arsenal. He also has his finisher, which is the RKO, which is Randy Orton's finisher. Kevin Owens, is he trying to make Jaren tap out here? I didn't realize this was a, this was a submission hold. I thought it was going to... Oh! I can't tell. I can't tell. No, Jaren gets out of whatever that submission move was. But Kevin Owens, I think he poked, did he poke the eyes of Jaren just now? I can't tell. Back body drop, sort of. Kevin Owens stomping on the chest now of Jaren. And now Kevin Owens is starting to come back a little bit. It was all Jaren so far in this match. He was so dominant. But now it looks like Kevin Owens is coming back. Wait a second. No, Jaren. Reversal. Side rush and leg sweep. Yeah, I know what that move's called. Oh, what a springboard by Jaren. But Kevin Owens is still getting back to his feet, and Jaren completely missed with that second springboard. I do not know why you thought that that was a good idea, but you know what? Whatever. And now Kevin Owens is going to make him pay for it. Oh, my God. Oh, Jaren with the reversal. Elbow right to the face of Owens. But wait a second. Oh, what a suplex by Kevin Owens. Looks like he's coming back a little bit. I don't know. You're going to have to... It's going to take a lot to put Jaren down. Oh, wait a second. We forgot that he had the RKO in his arsenal. And here we go. Oh, wait. Never mind. No, he stole Kevin Owens' finishing maneuver. But Kevin Owens reversed it. Oh, my God. Jaren sometimes steals his opponent's finishing maneuver. And Jaren was about to steal the power bomb. But Kevin Owens reversed it and planted Jaren's face into the mat. Oh, I met Jaren has to be so frustrated right now. Delivers a leg drop, but <sighs> what is that going to do? And again, Kevin Owens just keeps go having a reversal after reversal after reversal in this match. And it's, it's Jaren just has, does not have enough in the tank to put him away. Wait a second, Kevin Owens picking up Jaren. Oh, package pile driver. Oh my god. There goes the cover. One, two. Oh! Jaren somehow finds a way to kick out. Goes for the power bomb, but Jaren blocks it. Kicks Kevin Owens in the gut. What does Jaren have in store? Goes for the RKO. Oh, Kevin Owens pushes him off, but Kevin Owens is exhausted. Jaren with a jab. The, oh, goes for a chop. Kevin Owens reverses the shoulder tackle. Oh my god. Kevin Owens. Trying to wear Jaren down here. Cannot do it. Spine buster. Spine buster by the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Looking to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. And Kevin Owens kicks out. Holy crap, man. This is exciting. This is exciting. What a performance. What a way to kick off the night after SummerSlam. But Jaren, wait a second. Dragging Kevin Owens to the middle of the mat. And hold on. Leg drop. Oh, man. Taking him down. Taking him down a few pegs. But now Jaren, wait a second. And again, reversal after reversal in this match. Kevin Owens and Jaren do not know how to give up. Both of these men so resilient. But wait a second. Kevin Owens setting up for his finishing maneuver. We saw a little piece of it being delivered by Jaren. Kevin Owens picking him up. And Jaren reverses it into a DDT. No man has been able to hit his finisher so far in this match. This is amazing. Goes for the springboard. Kevin Owens gets out of the way, but Jaren gets back to his feet, and now Kevin Owens with another DDT, holy crap, man, and Kevin Owens stomping away now, on the, oh, okay, clothesline by Jaren, huge clothesline, I might add, wait a second, what does Jaren have in the tank here, finally, finally we did <laughs> get something else, F5 to, to Kevin Owens, I mean, this is only the, st the opening match of the night, we still got 
So much more action for you here tonight on Monday Night Walker episode 25. Is that going to be enough? Is Jared going to become the number one contender? No! How? How does Kevin Owens keep kicking out of these signature maneuvers? I cannot believe the amount of resiliency on both of these men. And Jaron, leg drop again onto Kevin Owens. There goes the cover. Is that going to be enough? You never know. Oh, Kevin Owens with a quick kick out this time. Oh. Jaron goes for that punch and then gone. Another shoulder tackle. This is... Is this interactive universe? Um, I don't know exactly what you mean by that, Troll. Um, if you could just tell me exactly what you mean by interactive universe. Uh, pfft. I will totally answer your question. Oh, Jaron, wait, wait, what was that? Did I miss something? I totally just missed something, right? He hit the RKO. I'm, I missed it, right? There's no way. I, wait, I missed it. One, two. Oh, Kevin Owens kicks out anyway. I got to see it for a second. He hit the RKO. Are you kidding me? Jaron hit the RKO and he still kicked out? What is that? Oh my gosh! Uh, well, let me ask you a question, Troll. He says, is this an interactive universe? This is really uh, my roster of, of WWE World Walker Entertainment superstars. Um, phew, there's, there's obviously championships. This is, this is a universe. I don't know what you mean by interactive, though. Uh, I mean, you can always, like, comment in the chat, and you can always, you know, watch the videos on YouTube. You can always predict who you want to win. But other than that, um, I just let these guys fight it out. I don't play as anybody. I'm breaking kayfabe for a second, but whatever. I don't let anybody play. Um, I'm not playing as myself or anybody else. Uh, I'm letting the computer fight it out, and that's how that's how this thing works. Yeah. So Kevin Owens, side rush and leg sweep, taken down Jaron. I can't believe Kevin Owens kicked out of the, R of the RKO. He kicked out of two F5s and an RKO. Kevin Owens looking to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. What a way to kick off this night, ladies and gentlemen. Jaron picking up Kevin Owens once again. Right hand. And another German suplex. Jaron has literally delivered every single po move he could possibly deliver. And yet Kevin Owens is still kicked out of everything. What does Jaron have left? And Kevin Owens just continues to kick out. I don't understand how any of these men <laughs> could be put down for their three count in this match. This is amazing right now. Kevin Owens with an elbow to Jaron. Wait a second. Oh, and another German suplex by Jaron. Oh, man. And again, stomping on his chest. I mean, what else can you do? I think Jaron's running out of ideas here. Kevin Owens. Oh, man. Looks like a rock. That looked like a rock bottom. I don't know what that's about. But there goes the cover. Is that going to be enough to put Jaron away? Oh, and again. Oh. Both of these men just unbelievably resilient. I know I've said that before, but I, I have to reiterate myself because this is unbelievable. There's sometimes where you get quick matches here in World Walker Entertainment, and then sometimes these matches knock it out of the park. Last week on Monday Night Walker, we saw the most amazing matches I've ever seen in that King of the Ring tournament. Kofi Kingston versus Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan. That was amazing. But Jaren looking to put Kevin Owens away right now, and he can at a two-count kicks out. So you have to tune in, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Walker every week on YouTube.com slash games to find all this amazing action. Jaron, wait a second. And the third time in this match delivers an F5. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully. I don't know. One, two. What? That's the third time. That is the third time he, he did that. Are you kidding me right now? That is the third signature maneuver that Jaron has delivered in this match, not to mention the RKO, which is his finisher. I don't know how you're going to put Kevin Owens away. This is unbelievable. And you see that Jaron doesn't have anything left in the tank. Jaron's just struggling to survive here, looking for ways to put Kevin Owens away. Springboard! This time he hits it. Holy crap. I am... I am Absolutely dumbfounded by how this match is still going on. What the god oh, Kevin Owens again kicks out. The crowd is loving this match. I gotta say, I'm I am so interested in this match right now. I've never been more interested in a match in a while. Remember, this is to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. If you can believe the amount of resiliency on this man, uh, on these men, 
Imagine what's gonna what it's gonna be like at Night of Champions when one of these guys faces off against Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. How long is that match gonna go on? I mean, this is unbelievable. Jaren with the cover, and Kevin Owens kicks out. Later tonight, we have Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. And if Brock Lesnar can beat Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar will, without a doubt, be the number one contender for the United States Championship. Brock Lesnar did it a couple weeks ago. So maybe we'll find out tonight if he can do it again. Also, Neville facing off against John Cena in our main event. And if Neville can beat Cena, he'll become one of the number one contenders for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, along with Rusev. It will be a triple threat match at Night of Champions if Neville can put Cena away. If not, then it'll just be a one-on-one -on -one encounter. Kevin Owens again with that look, with that rock bottom looking maneuver on Jaren, putting him down. Now Kevin Owens picking Jaren up. Holy crap, wait a second. Uh-oh. We also have Rusev versus Randy Orton. And if Randy Orton can beat Rusev, absolutely nothing will happen. Matter of fact, I take that back. If Randy Orton can beat Rusev, Ru Randy Orton will take Rusev's spot as the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So we have a possibility of having two completely different changes here tonight. One, oh man, Jaren again kicks out. I'm going to start paying more attention to this match. There's sometimes where you just cannot believe the amount. Daniel Bryan kicked out of three sister Abigails last week on Monday Night Walker. And then he, got, he deli uh, Bray Wyatt delivered a fourth one, and Daniel Bryan still got up. That's going to be a road break. Daniel Bryan still got back to his feet. <laughs> and it took a back body drop because Daniel Bryan took so much punishment. And an RKO out of nowhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> out of nowhere by Jaren. Holy crap. But Jaren's tired. No way. Oh, wait. Okay. Kevin Owens, there goes the cover. One, two. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what is going on right now? And how do you have so many signature maneuvers? Jaren, F5 on the Kevin Owens. Oh my god. I don't understand. And Kevin Owens is continuing to crawl. But that, that, my, ah, oh, one. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know. I am so confused right now. Why is this match still happening? What is good with Kevin Owens right now? RKO. The cover. One, two, three. Oh, my God. What a way to kick off Monday Night Walker. Can you believe? Can you believe what we just saw? Oh my god. That's how you kick off the night, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you kick off Monday Night Walker. Unbelievable. Look at this. It's reversal after reversal. That was delivered in this match. I can, oh. Totally. I'm totally entertained right now. What a, what a match. I think that was one of the best opening matches that we've seen here on Monday Night Walker. Road Walker Entertainment has been, has been put on the map lately. And oh my god. Jaren is going to face Dean Ambrose at Night of Champions for the Intercontinental Championship. But right now, we're going to find out who the number one contender is for the Divas Championship. AJ Lee, of course, winning the Divas Championship last night in that triple threat match. And there you see Brie Bella and Summer Rae. Summer Rae, the former Divas Champion. Both of them are looking to become the number one contender once again. But so is Nikki Bella, Cameron, Natalia, and Naomi. They're looking to climb the ladder to, retra to retrieve the briefcase. And if you retrieve the briefcase, you become the number one contender for the Divas Championship. And here comes Brie Bella. Brie Bella was so dominant these past couple weeks. And it looked like a couple times last night that she was going to win the Divas Championship. But, uh, pfft, AJ Lee won the title. AJ Lee did not even pin Brie Bella last night. She pinned the Divas Champion, Summer Rae, to become the champion. Brie Bella looking for redemption here tonight. Looking for redemption in this ladder match. What is to be a brutal ladder match? All the Divas number one contenders matches that we've seen have been brutal. So hopefully this one won't disappoint. And as we wait 
for Natalia. <laughs> you know, in Canada, I'm not even going to start. I'm not even going to start with this. Not even. But there you see Natalia. Like I said, I've been emphasizing this for the past couple weeks, ladies and gentlemen. Coming late October, of course it's August right now, but late October, we are going to have a complete upgrade here in World Walker Entertainment. The superstars and divas will have new outfits that they will wear to the ring. We will have new uh, uh, ring designs. We will have new arena designs. Okay, there will be completely new match types here in World Walker Entertainment. There will be like handicap matches where one superstar has to face off against two superstars, even three superstars. Okay, we're going to get a complete upgrade in late October, and you can see it right here on YouTube.com slash small afro games. Remember, all one word, by the way. Small afro games, all one word. But here comes Cameron, though probably the, <laughs> the least entertaining diva. I, every time we have one of these matches, I always root that Cameron doesn't win, because who wants, who wants her to win? I mean, let's be real here. Imagine Cameron facing off against AJ Lee, and then I'll be rooting for AJ Lee, obviously. But I mean, why? I don't even think Cameron has won a single match here in this business, and I'm completely fine with that. I will, I can survive if, as long as she just doesn't win a match. <laughs> like, let's be, let's be real here, people. Oh man, let's let's break down the former Divas champions here. Uh, we've had Brie Bella, uh, no, not Brie Bella, Nikki Bella. Oh, let's go in order. Natalia, of course, was the first ever Divas champion, and she was dominant. Then she was defeated by Naomi, who is coming right now. Um, I think she was defeated by Naomi, and then Naomi was defeated by Nikki Bella, and then Nikki Bella was defeated by Natalia, and then Natalia was defeated by. Summer Rae, who was defeated by AJ Lee. That makes sense, I think. No. No, Natalia was defeated by AJ Lee, who was defeated by Summer Rae, who was defeated by AJ Lee. I, I, I think. You know, honestly, I have no idea anymore. There's been so many Divas champions lately, but people, for somebody who's not been the Divas champion is Cameron, Brie Bella, or Tamina Snuggle, who's not even in this match tonight. Because I only had six spots, and there's, you know, eight divas. I am so excited for the future here in World Walker Entertainment. I know these guys are. I know everybody is who is a fan of World Walker Entertainment. 2,000 and more, <laughs> and some change, subscribers on YouTube. You can be one of them, youtube.com slash small afro games all one word by the way small afro games i know i've said that like fifty thousand times in this broadcast but you know i'm trying to grow and i have grown over the years and i like the growth <laughs> that this channel that this channel has gotten i'm uploading SummerSlam today this is uh this is a sunday i'm going to summer i'm going to the summer slam later tonight but i'm uploading the summer slam <laughs> today uh you know people think just because it's called WWE SummerSlam, they think it's that other company. But no, WWE is World Walker Entertainment. Of course, my last name is Walker. World Walker Entertainment. So it's WWE, okay? I'm not lying to you. It's WWE SummerSlam. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. As a matter of fact, I should probably upload it right now, shouldn't I? Nikki Bella, of course, entering the match. Is she the last one? I think we have one more. Yes, of course. How could we forget the former Divas champion herself, Summer Rae? Of course, she's going to be angry after losing the Divas Championship last night, but still holding her head up high as she makes her way to the ring to compete in this number one contender's ladder match. Remember, the way to win is you got to grab the briefcase, pull it down to become the number one contender. Of course, later tonight, Randy Orton has the, has the possibility of taking Rusev's spot in... Uh, in the in the championship match at Night of Champions, if Randy Orton beats Rusev, Randy Orton will be the number one contender and not Rusev. And if Neville can beat John Cena in our main event, Neville will be added to that match and it will be a triple threat match at Night of Champions, which will actually be amazing. <laughs> but, I mean, you never know. 
and Samurai is now in this match. I think all of the Divas now have entered the ring, and we gotta get this ladder match started. And of course, the entrances take up like 50,000 of the minutes. Oh, of the minutes, I sound like, I don't know, Russian. Of the minutes! <laughs> I don't know. And right off the bat, these Divas are just... What are, the, what are they doing? The former Divas champion, John Cena. If John Cena can hold the, the Divas Championship, I, I'm pretty sure he would go after it. I think John, I, as a matter of fact, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena, that's the only uh, title that he's held in this business, is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And he won it, when did he win it? He won it in the Battleground. Oh, and <laughs> Nikki Bella knocks Natalia off the ladder. I don't know what these Divas are doing. The ladder's literally right there, and nobody's even attempting to climb it. Like, like these are these. I don't, I, I don't, I'm confused. And Natalia, she's she's just waiting for them. And I'm like, oh my god, absolute brutality here shown by these divas. Brie Bella, the side rush and leg sweep right to the ladder. I think, maybe. Is, she sets up the ladder and then walks away. And <laughs> okay, Cameron whipping Nikki Bella in an elbow to the face by Cameron. I mean, if Cameron can impress me tonight, maybe, I don't know. I doubt it. Oh, Naomi with a kick right to the face of her partner. Okay, that's interesting. Friendship is over in these ladder matches. Naomi, oh, I thought she already had the briefcase. Is she, is she too short? I don't know if she's too short or not. Oh, wait a minute, Cameron. Oh, my God. What was that? <laughs> Cameron gets knocked down for literally no reason whatsoever as Natalia. Why you got to ruin the fun, Natalia? Always knocking the ladder down for something. Remember, this is to become the number one contender for the Divas Championship. The winner of this match will face AJ Lee at Night of Champions for the Divas Championship. You got to wonder if AJ Lee's watching right now. She'll probably have a smile on her face because whoever wins this match, I mean... I don't know, they're gonna be pretty hurt. But we still got like four weeks until the pay to the free preview. Brie Bell is climbing the ladder. I don't know if anyone's noticing right now, but uh Brie Bella has the briefcase. Why is no one trying to knock her down? Oh what? Oh okay, there we go. Oh Brie Bella got knocked right onto the steel steps. Can you believe that again? She gets waffled with those stairs. And Summer Ray continuing the assault on Brie Bella. Can you believe this? As Naomi tried to climb the ladder, Nikki Bella got knocked down in the process for some reason. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. She just did. Natalia, she, it looks like she's too short to be grabbing that briefcase. But, okay. Oh, suplex by Nikki Bella to her sister. Summer Rae grabbed the ladder now. Sets the ladder up. Thank you. I don't know. Oh, uh, Nikki Bella again gra grabs the ladder. Uh, oh, okay. Oh! Oh my god. Did you hear that? Did you hear the... Oh, really, Bree? Okay. Did you hear the clunk Del <laughs> being delivered by that ladder? This is absolutely unbelievable. Side rush and leg sweep onto the steel steps. Yeah, I know what that move's called. Oh my god. Leg drop onto Natalia. This match is, is brutal, right, uh, right by the get, or I don't know what, whatever the with the get go, I don't know. Nikki Bella picks up the ladder once again, sets it up. Can she finally successfully climb the ladder? We're gonna find out right now, and it doesn't look like it. Oh, she had the briefcase. I wasn't even paying attention. Why didn't we get a close up on that, cameras? That's dumb. Naomi with the side rush should be another that move's called. Holy crap. Summer Rae. Oh. I didn't I forgot that there was two ladders. Brebella kicking Summer Rae off of her. Brebella gets back to her feet and oh, it's a slap by Summer Rae as Cameron picks up the ladder, sets it up herself. Oh no. Oh, but Brebella is climbing the ladder instead for some reason. Because why not? She's got the briefcase. Both of the belt, the only, the only people that have grabbed the briefcase so far are the Bella Twins. The ladder got, oh, oh my god! What was that? Did you see the spear? The spear by, by Naomi. Naomi just speared 
Brie Bella out of the sky. What was that? I, I, my eyes. My eyes have seen the most amazing thing ever. Natalia's going to knock both of them down. I kind of figured. Oh, wait a minute. They always got a steel chair and puts it down for some reason. <laughs> I'm going to grab the steel chair over here. Yep. And I'll put it down. Oh, wait a second. Naomi climbing the ladder as Cameron gets back to her feet. And Naomi's got the briefcase. <laughs> Cameron is literally doing nothing to... Oh, stop. Okay. I, I thought Naomi was about to have it for a second. Cameron grabs Naomi. Oh, but Naomi flips Cameron around, catches her. And now, wait a second. I don't know what's going on. Oh. Well, all right then. Cool, cool. Oh, Cameron slamming the knee of Naomi down into the mat. Unbelievable. And Cameron grabs the ladder. And she is so out of position right now to grab that briefcase. Oh, it's not troll. It's one roll. Oh. For some reason, that one looked like a T on my screen. Okay, never mind. And Naomi, what was that? That was, a, that was cool. And Natalia with her finishing clothesline. Absolutely demolishing the former Divas champion. But now Nikki Bell's got that ladder. Wait a second. Shh, don't tell anybody. She's about to climb it. Oh, goes for Naomi goes for a drop kick. They, uh, Nikki Bell has eyes in the back of her head for some reason. She's a she's a, a, a zombie. I don't know if zombies have eyes in the back of their heads. I don't know. Starters from next week, I know that move's called. Nikki Bella takes down Summer Rae. Wait a second. No, why is nobody paying attention? Nikki Bella's got the briefcase. Nikki Bell's got the... Oh. oh, can somebody spear her again off the top rope? Please, 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 for the love of God, spear her off the top rope. Please. Oh, oh but Summer Rae! Oh, man, onto the ladder. Did you see that? Naomi ensuring that Cameron does not win this match. Oh, wait a minute, Brie Bella again climbing the ladder. <laughs> but Naomi's just like, nope. No. You cannot... What? Summer Rae? Oh, that's her finishing maneuver. Yay. <laughs> no one got excited. Natalia literally just got out of the ring and ran around for like a couple seconds and did did nothing else. That's that's disturbing to me. I don't know. Oh, Brie Bella tries to waffle Cameron with the ladder. Cameron sets up the ladder herself, though. Uh-oh. Wait a second, Brie Bella picking up. Why all the divas clumbled like this? Nikki Bella slams Cameron down. And, oh, Brie Bella. All right. Oh, Bulldog. Running Bulldog by Nikki Bella. I think that's her finisher, as a matter of fact. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, all the divas are down, except for Naomi. Why, what is, why is she not doing anything? Natalia getting back to her feet. What is Naomi trying to do? And misses with the rear view. Wow. That was absolutely terrible. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Naomi's got that. Steel. Okay, never mind. Uh oh, Naomi. Oh. Okay. And Brie, oh, Brie Bella's back to her feet and exits the ring. Naomi's the only diva left in the ring, but too bad there's no ladder. Oh, never mind. There's a ladder. Hello, ladder. Oh, wait a minute. Brie Bella. Oh, flips Naomi around. I, I don't know why nobody's attempting to climb right now. Brie Bella grabs the ladder from her sister. and Oh, oh, oh right in the mouth. Oh, and to some array as well. All the divas are down or, or busy, except for Cameron. Oh, no. Oh, for the love of God, no. Oh, please. For the love of everything that is good, please do not have Cameron win this match. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I didn't even see Nikki Bella. 
Looked like Cameron was about to push. Uh, was it Bree off the ladder? It's a good thing that that didn't happen. Naomi at the top rope. What is she about to do? Nothing. She hopped back down. Okay. That was that was interesting. I don't know what to say about that, but only that's interesting. Oh, suplex onto the ladder. The <laughs> Naomi gets knocked down. Oh, Nikki Bella grabs a ladder from Naomi. Okay. This is interesting. Uh-oh. Uh, that was a burp. Uh-oh, both divas climbing the ladder, and Nikki Bella tries to push it down, but... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Summer Rae and Brie Bell get knocked down off the ladder once again. You gotta wonder, someone's gotta give here, and one of these divas have to eventually climb this ladder. I <laughs> hope this doesn't take up the entire episode, because it just... Oh, wait, wait, where did she get the baseball bat from? I wasn't even paying attention. No, somebody stop her. Thank you. Summer Rae, oh, grabs the baseball bat, puts it down. I think she's trying to climb the ladder there. But the baseball bat was in the way. Curse you, baseball bat. Curse you. <laughs> Nikki Bella with a Hurricane Rana. The ladder is literally just sitting right there. And no D was even attempting to climb it. Oh, never mind. Oh, Summer Rae. Wait a second. What is she doing? They're literally just standing there. Oh, Summer Rae had the briefcase. And Nikki Bella is the only one that gets knocked down. Cameron with a power bomb. And then delivers a German suplex of sorts. This is unbelievable right now. I can, uh, my throat's hurting from all the action. Rear view out of nowhere. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. Can you believe that somebody who used to just slam their butt into somebody's face used to be the Divas champion? Well, Brie Bella and Natalia right now. What what was that? They're literally just sitting there. They were just like, okay, we're gonna stand here and wait for somebody to knock us down, and that's exactly what happened. Cameron's got that ladder, sets it up. Oh no. Oh please, 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 no, no. Why is nobody paying attention? Why is nobody paying attention right now? Somebody needs to be paying attention. Thank you, Naomi. Oh, for the love of God. Matter of fact, Bree, just knock it down, Bree. I won't even be mad at you, Bree, if you just knock it down. No. No. Do not have Cameron do that. Okay. Good job, Naomi. Yes. No. What is this? And again. Okay. That's how we started off the match. And again, a after that move, Cameron gets knocked down somehow. I don't understand what, why, why that is. But it is what it is, and it is... Stupid. All right. <laughs> no. Summer Rae climbing the ladder. Wait a second. Oh, she missed. Oh, she missed again. She missed a third time and falls off the ladder. <laughs> okay. And now Natalia sets it up. This is this is totally not a train wreck right now. And no, nope, Natalia and, and Nikki on top of the ladder. Nikki with a slap. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. N oh, I thought I thought she was gonna get it. For a second, I thought that Nikki Bella was about to be our our new number one contender for the Divas Championship, but guess not. Guess that's not happening. Because why not? Oh, <laughs> this is only the second match of the night. If you've never watched Monday Night Walker before, there are. Six matches. Oh my goodness. Natalia climbing the ladder. Can can she finally get why is nobody paying attention? And again, Brie Bella knocks it down. What you know? <laughs> it, it looks like nobody's gonna win this match. Oh! Okay, baseball bat to Natalia. And again, another baseball bat. Another baseball bat. Another baseball bat. <laughs> another baseball. Oh, nope. This time she gets up. <laughs> She's like, no more baseball bats. Puts it down. Naomi's into the corner. Camera gets off the apron for some reason. Ooh. 
Oh, Naomi goes for a drop, a missile drop kick, and completely, completely misses. That was horrible. All of these divas are busy, you know, fighting. You should be climbing, divas. Why would you do that? What is good with you today? What is... Because it's such a smart idea to... Uh, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna start right now. I'm not even going to start. Samurai. Oh. Okay. Oh. We still have yet to have a ladder in the ring. Um, this is a problem, considering that this is a ladder match. But you know what? I'm... That's okay. I'm not mad. I'm literally just disappointed. I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say right now. Brie Bella. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. She sees an opening. Brie Bella. It's, she's climbing. She's climbing. Naomi grabbed her for a second. But never mind. Oh, and Cameron's climbing as well. Please, no. Please, no. 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 No, please. Please, no. Cameron, whatever you do, don't move. No. Thank you, Brie. Do it. Knock her down. Yes. Brie Bella. She's got the briefcase. Brie Bella, she's pulling. She's pulling. Why is nobody... Why has still nobody gotten the briefcase yet? This is unbelievable. Like 50,000 people have tried to pull the briefcase down and it still has not been coming down yet. This is weird. I don't know what's happening right now. Samurai, does she see an opening? No. I guess not. The blondies. And Nikki Bella. The crowd does not like this. Nikki Bella is climbing the ladder. And so is her sister, Brie. Oh, the battle of the sisters. Wait a second. Brie Bella, no. Oh, no, oh, Brie, Nikki Bella with a back body drop. She's trying to grab the briefcase, and she can't do it. Oh, she has it. Nikki Bella has the briefcase. Ooh. And Nikki Bella got that. Oh, my God. What, what, what happened? What just happened? Oh my goodness. Nikki Bella is the new number one contender for the Divas Championship. That's how you win a match. You miss twice, then you grab it. Nobody pays attention. Naomi climbs the top rope and you, <laughs> and you get the briefcase. You are now the number one contender for the Divas Championship, Nikki Bella. Congratulations. AJ Lee just got put on notice. That ladder is implanted into the, into the ring. But, <laughs> but it's okay. Because we're, cele we're celebrating right now. Well, this, is, this has gone on for the, for the longest time. This is only our second match. It's not a bad thing. It's weird, though. Okay. Nikki Bella celebrating her number, her number one contendership victory. And we have to get to our um, match right now. This is a match. This is a match. Yes, it is. Brock, Brock Lesnar, the man, the only non-champion to not win a championship last night at SummerSlam, is going to try to redeem himself by facing off against the new United States champion, Daniel Bryan. And if Brock Lesnar can defeat Daniel Bryan here tonight... Brock Lesnar will become the new number one contender for the United States Championship. I'm so excited for later on tonight. Oh man, like I, as, as the hours get closer, I get more and more excited. I'm leaving in about six hours to go to that other company's version of SummerSlam. Oh man. I have six hours left until we have to leave, or I don't know, six and a half maybe. I'm so excited. But, Brock Lesnar is now in the ring looking to become the number one contender for the, for the United States Championship. We're going to have to beat the champion first to do it. Here comes the new United States Champion. Daniel Bryan beat The Undertaker last night to win the championship. Daniel Bryan is a, is, is a one-time United States Champion right now. Yes. 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 Maybe? Perhaps. Alright, Daniel Bryan.
getting ready to do battle with Brock Lesnar. Now, Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar had a match, a no-holds-barred match, as a matter of fact. Um, or was it, was it False Count Anywhere? I think it was, might have been False Count Anywhere. But nevertheless, they had a match two weeks ago on Monday Night Walker, and Brock Lesnar beat the crap out of Daniel Bryan. Now, if Daniel, if Brock Lesnar can do it again, he'll be the number one contender for the United States Championship. But if not, Daniel Bryan will just, you know, find somebody else, I guess. <laughs> but here we go. Is everyone ready for this match? I know I am. Brock Lesnar right off the bat. <laughs> okay. Daniel Bryan. Oh. Never mind. Daniel Bryan with the knee to the gut of Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar slams Daniel Bryan's oh, face into the mat. Unbelievable. Brock Lesnar, so mad. We had a streak going on last night. I even mentioned it a couple times where uh, they were, like, every, everybody was winning the championship. Like, it was, it was like, historic. Like, the, the New Day finally beat the Usos. The Usos have finally been defeated in tag team action and lost their titles. And I was like, oh my gosh, the New Day is the new tag team champions. The AJ Lee won the Divas Championship. I said, oh my gosh, we have two new champions. Then Dean Ambrose won the title, the Intercontinental Championship. And I said, oh my God, wait, wait every single uh, channel match we've had, every title has changed hands. Then Daniel Bryan goes ahead and beats The Undertaker. I said, oh, are you kidding me? And then Brock Lesnar, didn't win against John Cena, and I said, oh, okay, it was like the most anticlimactic ending to a championship match that I've ever seen, and it's by far the quickest match in SummerSlam last night, but it's okay, because Brock Lesnar has a chance to become the United States Championship, he, he can't become the United States Championship, but he can become the number one contender for the title itself. Oh man, my throat is hurting right now from all this, from all this commentary. We gotta take some water. You know what? The throat ache is worth it. Cause this episode is cr it's been crazy right now. Are you kidding me? Brock Lesnar raking the eyes of Daniel Bryan. Is that legal? That shouldn't be legal. Brock Lesnar whips Daniel Bryan into the corner, and Daniel Bryan goes down. Oh wait a minute, Brock Lesnar. Oh. All right then. Okay. And Brock Lesnar with a clothesline. Oh, my God. Oh! Daniel Bryan with a kip-up. Oh. Okay. Daniel Bryan whipping Brock Lesnar into the, into the corner. Wait a second. Oh, Lesnar. Daniel Bryan. Okay. What's happening right now? Daniel Bryan trying to come back. Daniel Bryan. Okay. Clothesline to Brock Lesnar. And Daniel Bryan has built momentum back once, back once again. Daniel Bryan trying to pick up Brock Lesnar. He does. Imagine the strength having to do that by Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan already with the yes kicks. His signature maneuver. Daniel Bryan trying to put Brock Lesnar away early here. Daniel Bryan kick to the temple of Brock Lesnar. Is that going to be enough right off the bat? Can Daniel Bryan shock the world? One. And Brock Lesnar kicks out at freaking one. Because why not? And Brock Lesnar. Okay. That's a cover. One, two, and Daniel Bryan kicks out. Brock Lesnar got scared there for a second. He thought, oh man, I gotta beat this guy. Brock Lesnar. Just tossing Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan goes down. Holy crap, this is. Did you guys know that, that, that these nuts is running for president? There is literally a, a politician right now who's going under the name these nuts. He was filling out an application to become the president of the United States. And what happened? He put down his name as these nuts. And Daniel Bryan goes for the knee. And, Daniel, and Brock Lesnar gets out of the way. And Brock Lesnar with a German suplex. Oh, Brock Lesnar trying to make Daniel Bryan tap out early here. Is he going to make the United States champion tap? Holy crap. What's happening right now? Daniel Bryan struggling. How can he possibly get out of this? Daniel Bryan is not tapping, though. Is he going to pass out? He could eventually pass out from this submission hold. Daniel Bryan. Uh, oh! 
Daniel Bryan knows a reversal to every signature maneuver or finish or submission hole, I should say. The knee, the cover, one, two, and Brock Lesnar. Oh, my God. Brock Lesnar kicked out of Daniel Bryan's finishing maneuver. Of course, the running knee, or as you real wrestling fans like to call it, the Busaiku, the Bis the Busaiku knee kick, I think that's what it's called. Brock Lesnar went for the F5. I don't know if anybody just saw that, but I did. I think Brock Lesnar went for the F5. Oh, Brock Lesnar grabbing Daniel Bryan. And again, looks like he's going to try to toss him once again. Oh, man. Brock Lesnar stomping away on Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan gets back to his feet. Oh, Lesnar with the right hand. Another right hand. Oh, Daniel Bryan follows it up with a, with a jab. Brock Lesnar whips Daniel Bryan into the turnbuckle. Daniel Bryan with an elbow right to the face or mouth area of Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar with a German suplex to Daniel Bryan. Suplex City is running wild right now here in World of Walker Entertainment. Thanks to Brock Lesnar, who oh, a double axe handles the back of Daniel Bryan to the United States Champion. Looks like he's going to try to do it again. Another double axe handle to the United States Champion. This time, Brock Lesnar picks Daniel Bryan up. Oh, here we go. No! Daniel Bryan blocks what I assume was, again, the F5 and goes for the knee, but Brock Lesnar gets out of the way. Oh, but Br Daniel Bryan, what's happening right now? Reversal after reversal, and Daniel Bryan with a German suplex. There goes the cover, but a rope break by Brock Lesnar, and Daniel Bryan is tired. Can you, about the, can you imagine the amount of stamina by Daniel Bryan to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Beast Incarnate right now? Oh. Okay. And follows that up with a side rush and leg sweep. You don't know what that move's called. Oh, man. Is Daniel Bryan... Daniel Bryan has no stamina whatsoever. Goes around one. And Brock Lesnar kicks out at one. Are you kidding me right now? How? How can you go on? Daniel Bryan flipping Brock Lesnar out into a cover. One, two, and Brock Lesnar rolls the shoulder up. Daniel Bryan with a, no, another German suplex to Lesnar. Oh, cover. One, and Brock Lesnar just powers out, unbelievable. Oh, Brock Lesnar gets back to his feet. Wait a second. Oh, that's a, what a suplex by Brock Lesnar. Can you imagine the strength? Can Lesnar become the number one contender for the United States Championship? And Daniel Bryan kicks out. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Brock Lesnar with a knee to the gut of Daniel Bryan. Wait a minute. Oh. Brock Lesnar out of nowhere with the F5. Poor Daniel Bryan. The United States Champion has been slain by the Beast. And there we go. Brock Lesnar is the number one contender for the United States Championship. Holy crap. We go from Daniel Bryan and The Undertaker for the United States Championship to Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar at Night of Champions. This is going to be an unbelievable contest. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to say right now, other than wow. What a couple of matches we've seen uh, tonight. It's been interesting. But Brock Lesnar is the number one contender for the WWE United States Championship. He's going to face Daniel Bryan and Night of Champions. <laughs> Brock Lesnar saying one more match he has to go through. Oh, man, my throat really hurts right now from talking too much. That's never really happened before on one of these episodes of Monday Night Walker, but it's okay because we got to get to our next match, the six-man elimination match, by the way, the Shield versus the New Day. Now, if the Shield can eliminate all three members of the New Day, I will award the Shield the number one contendership, well, the Shield being Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins because Dean Ambrose is the Intercontinental Championship, but I will award them... Uh, in a number one contenders match for the tag team titles because, of course, Kobe Kingston and Big E are the tag team champions.
Here comes Roman Reigns, and there's Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. There you see the Intercontinental Championship around Dean Ambrose's waist once again for the third time. The Shield has been so dominant in elimination uh, tag team matches. If you go back on youtube.com slash smallafrogames, all one word, S-M-A-L-L-A-F-R-O-G-A-M-E-S, you can see a flashback where I highlighted uh, their, the Shield versus the Wyatt family encounter where that match went on for a while, and it was one of the most amazing matches I've ever seen. It went from 3-3 three to 3-2 three to 2-2 three to 2-2 two to 1-1, two to two to two to one to one to one, which was amazing. Here comes the newly crowned tag team champions, the New Day. I mean, Kofi Kingston and Big E with, a, with a, such impressive performance last night at SummerSlam against the Usos where they won the tag team titles. And along with Xavier Woods, they are unstoppable. And the tag team division just got put on notice by these three men. New attitude by all three of these guys, actually, as a matter of fact. But Kofi Kingston, um, last week on Monday Night Walker, was in the finals of that King of the Ring tournament, and it was amazing. It was absolutely incredible the amount of resiliency that Kofi Kingston had, kicking out of Sister Abigail, uh, Bray Wyatt kicking out of Trouble in Paradises. But it was, it was fantastic. Bray Wyatt is our 2015 King of the Ring. But now... Kobe Kingston shook that off and became one half of the tag team champions. But now these three men look to do battle with the shield right now. <laughs> That's weird. It looks like... Uh that entrance looks familiar. I don't know what that's about. Shh. Don't say anything. Okay. Well, we're going to start off this match. Dean Ambrose and Kofi Kingston. And right off the bat, Dean Ambrose doesn't waste any time. Suplex to Kofi Kingston. Oh. Elbow to the heart of Kofi. Oh. Dean Ambrose blocks the punch by Kofi, delivers a right hand of his own. This has been all Dean Ambrose so far, but Kofi Kingston with a side wrestle next to be another moves called. And that took down Dean Ambrose. But Kofi Kingston, uh oh. Kofi Kingston with knee right to the stomach of Ambrose. And Ambrose goes down. And Ambrose gets back up. Oh, what a neck breaker by the Intercontinental Champion. And already off the bat trying to make one half of the tag team champions tap out. It is an elimination match. So once you pin one man from a team, the match is not over. You gotta pin all three members of a team to uh to get the victory in this uh in this match. Kobe Kingston tags in Big E. Dean Ambrose, and he's just cleaning house right now. Doesn't even need to tag in his partners, letting them save their energy. Last night, Dean Ambrose won the Intercontinental Championship back from Sami Zayn in that tiebreaker Iron Man match. But Roman Reigns actually lost last night at SummerSlam. He was he was uh, KO'd by Kane. And here we go. As soon as I said that, Roman Reigns enters the match. Trying to redeem himself. Big E with a spine buster onto the Intercontinental Champion. Roman Reigns looking to become the number one contender for the tag team champion ships. And Big E again with a spine buster. So so dominant and brutal. Both of these men as a matter of fact. And now Roman Reigns. Oh. Big E tags in Kobe Kingston. Kobe Kingston enters the match now. Uh-oh. Roman Reigns against the ropes, but oh, man. Whew. 
Roman Reigns slamming the back of Kobe Kingston's head into the... Okay. Roman Reigns. Oh, what a body slam by the Samoan guy. <laughs> I, I didn't think... I couldn't think of any nicknames to call him, so I said the Samoan guy. But Roman Reigns headbutt to the back of Kobe Kingston's neck. And then what, what a toss. Roman Reigns, a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, by the way. He was the champion for about five minutes. Oh, dropped a hole by Kingston. Oh, and an elbow to the back of Roman Reigns. Oh. It's got to hurt, man. It's got to hurt as Big E picks up Roman Reigns. Side rushing the leg sweep. You know what it was called? Taking down Big E. And now Roman Reigns slamming the head of Big E down into the mat. Remember, it's an elimination match. What are you all seeming to forget? And so goes for a Superman punch. Oh, man. Can you imagine? Out of nowhere. But Big E. I cannot believe this right now. My throat hurts so bad. Seth Rollins now enters the match and plants Big E's head right into the canvas. And as you can see right there, Roman Reigns is exhausted. But it's okay, Roman, you're still in this match. So is everybody. So you shouldn't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, cover. Wait a minute. Right away. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> All right. Chaos ensued after Seth Rollins tried to go for that cover. Oh. Go for the cover off of that. Nobody's looking. Nobody's looking. Oh. Big E back to his feet. Rollins whipping Big E against the ropes. Oh, never mind. Just grapples him. And oh, okay. Big E looking to, ooh, tagging his partner here. Tags in Xavier Woods. Seth Rollins has to focus his attention on the fresh member of the New Day. Well, that was a move. I don't know what move that was, but it was a move. That was definitely a move. Oh, Seth Rollins ducks out of it. Wait a second. Suplex City is running wild, like I said here, and it's running wild on Xavier Woods. Oh man, neck breaker. Onto really the uh the shadowed member of the new day, the, the person who nobody who's really paid attention to that much. But if you notice, Xavier Woods is one of the most dominant members of the New Day, to be completely fair. Matter of fact, all the New Day is really equally matched because because why not? Uh <laughs> And Xavier Woods again with that fist. I, I guess you could just call it a punch, whatever. I just call it a fist. <laughs> no, man. I don't know what move that. I don't know what that move's called, but it's effective. There was no doubt in my mind that it's effective. Oh man. Xavier Woods with a DDT to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins sweeps the legs of Xavier Woods, and Seth Rollins tags in Roman Reigns. Oh, Woods. Whipping Roman Reigns into the turnbuckle. Oh! And Roman Reigns with a big boot. What is this? What is this? Oh, man, Roman Reigns. And the New Day just has to look on as their partner, Xavier Woods, is being demolished here by the big Samoan guy, <laughs> Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns looking to become... Oh, was for that jumping clothesline. But Xavier Woods goes for a drop kick and hits it. Roman Reigns goes down, and Xavier Woods, that stomp on the groin, I don't think that's legal, ref. We gotta look into that DDT. Before Roman Reigns could even get back to his feet, Xavier Woods just plants him with a DDT. This is absolutely unbelievable. Wait a second, oh, Roman Reigns goes for another jumping clothesline, but again, Xavier Woods gets out of the way. And here we go, Xavier Woods with a Hurricane Rana. Xavier Woods is like, eh, I'm, I'm tired now. Here you go, Kofi. Come into this match. And why is Roman Reigns not putting up any offense here? This is interesting. 
Roman Reigns finally, oh, again. Kofi Kingston is absolutely demolishing Roman Reigns right now. Look at this. Oh, Roman Reigns has had enough. Oh, and again. Oh, Roman Reigns with the roll up on the Kingston. Wait a second. One, two. Oh, Kofi Kingston rolls Roman Reigns over. One, two. Oh, my goodness. That was close. That was a close one. I'm not going to lie. Roman Reigns gets back to his feet. Every time Roman Reigns tries to hit his, what I assume is his signature maneuver, Kobe Kingston comes right back and puts him down. There goes the cover on the Reigns. One. Oh, man. Remember, this is an elimination tag team match. An elimination tag team number one contenders match, I might add. Because if the Shield win, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins become the number one contenders for the tag team titles. And a Superman. No, again. Kobe Kingston block it into the trouble in paradise. You have got to be eating my cracks. I don't know what that means. I, I don't, why did I say that? that? I shouldn't have said that. Those words should have not have come out of my mouth. You gotta imagine that uh, Kobe Kingston would have, would have eliminated Roman Reigns if not for Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Kobe Kingston again taking it to a uh, number one contender, hopeful. And Kofi whipping Dean Ambrose into the turnbuckle. And then... Neckbreaker on a Dean Ambrose. Oh. Oh. Oh, Ambrose. A series of punches to Kofi Kingston. This is how we started off the match, by the way. Dean Ambrose and Kofi Kingston. Now, one half of the tag team champions getting back to his feet. And Dean Ambrose hasn't had enough. Puts him down with a spine buster. What does the Intercontinental Champion have in store for him right now? Oh, this is Dean Ambrose's patented submission hold finishing maneuver. Does he? Does the New Day have time before Kofi, Kofi Kingston taps out? Kofi Kingston taps. Uh-oh. Three to two. The New Day's got some explaining. Kofi Kingston has been eliminated. Seth Rollins is fighting Big E in the in the corner. Looks like Kofi Kingston has been knocked out here by that submission hold. Kofi Kingston finally getting back to his feet, but has to leave the ring because he just got eliminated. Score is there's no score, but it's three to two right now. Advantage Shield. Dean Ambrose though. Oh, plants Xavier Woods right into the canvas. And now tags in Seth Rollins. Here we go. Rollins now entering the match. But instead, Irish whips him into the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Oh, we've seen this move plenty of times. Here we go. Seth Rollins powerbomb into the turnbuckle. Why did he, why did he grab him again? That's stupid. But you know what? Who cares? Is Seth Rollins going to go to the top rope? I guess not. Goes, goes for the cover. Smart move. One. And uh, what? Xavier Woods kicks out at one for some reason. Because Xavier Woods is Superman, apparently. Oh, Xavier Woods has a, has a finishing maneuver. I could tell. He, he went in the corner like he was going to hit what I assume was going to be the honor roll. Neckbreaker by Xavier Woods. That took down Seth Rollins. Now what does Xavier Woods have in store here? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Here we go. Oh, Xavier Woods. That's, I forgot what that move's called, but it's his finisher. And there goes the cover. One, two. No, oh, Seth Rollins kicks out. Oh, my God. I thought he had him for a second. How did Seth Rollins kick out of Xavier Woods' finisher? We'll never know. Seth Rollins needed the gut of Xavier Woods. Bounces him off the ropes. Oh, I don't. that's a suplex, I suppose. Oh, cover. Wait a second. One, two. Oh, and Seth Rollins still manages to kick out of everything. And oh, Xavier Woods with a DDT. Big E. Hammer away on Seth Rollins. I don't know how smart this is. He doesn't want to get disqualified here and eliminated. Not very smart here. But still, Xavier Woods keeps fighting. What an uppercut. 
absolutely launching Seth Rollins back. Uh oh, here we go. Xavier Woods, springboard, <laughs> completely misses, but it's okay because that looked that it looked cool at least. It at least looked cool, and that isn't that really what it's all about. Looking cool. That's the key to being successful is looking cool. <laughs> It's called the Code Blue. Ooh, is it really? That that uh, that arm roll up into that boot to the mouth, that's called the Code Blue? Thank you, one roll. That was some very helpful information right there. Xavier Woods. I have to give some props to one roll for a second. He has... Yeah, you know, if I mean you're if you're obviously watching on YouTube, uh, I'll be uploading this tomorrow on YouTube. But if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'm you obviously have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm broadcasting on Twitch right now. This guy One Rule has has been killing it right now in the chat. He's been one of my most interactive uh, fans here. I guess you can call him a fan. Um, so I just want to say thank you for sticking around for this entire broadcast. Some people just like to come and go, but this guy has stayed here the entire time, and I appreciate him. Uh, so we got to get back to this action. Seth Rollins whipping Xavier Woods into the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Oh! I think he went for a signature move once again, but it, this time he hits it. Wait a minute. Seth Rollins tags in Roman Reigns, and the tag team partners, the official tag team partners, oh, man. Seth Roman Reigns picks up Xavier Woods Superman punch, and there goes Xavier Woods. Bye-bye, Mr. Afro. One. Oh, it's a Big E. Somehow, somehow manages to break up the pinfall, keeping Xavier Woods alive, keeping hope alive for the New Day. The New Day does not want the Shield to become the number one contenders. Wait, no, the New Day is not with the Shield to become the number one contenders for the tag team titles. And Seth Rollins hammering away on the stomach of Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods now grabs Roman Reigns. Here we go. Wait a second. Neck breaker on the Roman Reigns. And probably the smartest move of this entire match so far. Xavier Woods tags in Big E. Oh, Roman Reigns. Hot tag to Dean Ambrose. Here we go. Ambrose. Uppercut to Big E. Taking him down. Xavier Woods gets knocked off the canvas. Here we go. Dean Ambrose. Suplex time. Oh, Big E blocks it. Here we go. Reversal into a suplex. Big E picking up Dean Ambrose now. Oh, goes for that, that signature move. Dean Ambrose reverses it. Uh-oh. Ambrose with the cover. There's nobody here to save Big E, too. Oh, but Big E still manages to kick out it, too. Dean Ambrose. Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Roman Reigns. Teamwork here by the Shield. Oh, what a boot right to the mouth of Big E. That's got to have stunned. That's ha that had to have stunned him. Big E tying in Xavier Woods now. What's going to happen here? Roman Reigns again whipping Xavier Woods into the corner. Oh, here we go. What's happening right now? The shield. Oh, my goodness. Dean Ambrose with the cover. One, two. Big E at the last second saves it. Saves it for the, for the new day. I don't know what's going to happen here. Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns again with the teamwork. Taking down Xavier Woods. That could be it. The cover. One. Then again, Big E. Big E just keeps coming from everywhere. This is unbelievable. Big E just doesn't know how to go away sometimes. There goes a cover on the Roman Reigns. One. Two. Oh. Can you imagine if, if one of the members of the Shield gets eliminated right now? This would be that would be interesting. Dean Ambrose was a voluntary whip into the into the turnbuckle. Oh, Roman Reigns putting Xavier Woods into the tree of woe. What's going to happen here? Oh, he's going to torture Woods now. This seems racist to me. I don't know. I don't know why. This seems like a hate crime. I don't know. <laughs> here we go. Cover. 
One, two. Oh, and Xavier Woods again manages to kick out. I thought he had him right there. Big E kept having to save Xavier Woods, but finally Xavier Woods manages to kick out on his own. I don't know how. I don't know how. Here we go. We got another cover on the Woods. Xavier Woods kicks out again. I thought he had him. What is, what is Seth Rollins doing? He's putting Big E. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, what I assume he called it the code blue. So I'm calling it the code blue. There goes the cover. Oh, but oh, they're gonna break it up. That's a shame. Go for a submission hold, Xavier. That's what I'm saying. Oh, double team on the Roman Reigns here. Interesting cover. Wait a second. One, two. Got him! Roman oh Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Cost Roman Reigns the pinfall. It's two to two. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins bumped into each other like a bunch of idiots. Here goes the cover. One, two. Oh man. Now things are interesting. Neckbreaker on the big E. <laughs> Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose were just bumping into each other. They're like, oh man, get out of my way, man. Oh, good. Get out of here. Xavier Woods with a German suplex. Big E stun. Goes for a springboard. Seth Rollins gets out of the way. And now Rollins. What's, what does what Seth Rollins have in store here for Xavier Woods? Seth Rollins whips Xavier Woods into the turnbuckle. Oh, here we go. We've already seen this move in this match. Seth Rollins grabs Xavier Woods. Powerbomb into the turnbuckle. Is that going to be enough to put Xavier Woods away? Seth Rollins goes for the cover. Big E, what are you doing, referee? One, two. What? How? How does that work? How does it work? How does it work? How do, how do, how do, how, do, how does it work? Oh my God. Xavier Woods trying to crawl back to his feet. Seth Rollins needs to stop this. Remember, Seth, if the Shield wins, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins become the number one contenders for the tag team titles. Xavier Woods, wait a minute, put Seth Rollins on the top. Wait a second. Oh my God, no way. Here we go, Xavier Woods, superplex off the top rope. And Xavier Woods, it looks like, oh, wait a minute. Xavier Woods is cleaning house right now. Woo, look at that. Is that going to be enough to put Seth Rollins away here? Uh-oh. No, Dean Ambrose breaks it up. I knew it. He was too close to their uh, to their side. <laughs> Big E just decided to knock down uh, Ambrose anyway, because why not? Uh-oh. Xavier Woods, he's tired. Cover on, on Seth Rollins. Wait a second. One... Two. Seth Rollins still manages to kick out. I don't know why. I don't know how, but it happened. Uh oh. Xavier Woods. Neck breaker on the, to Seth Rollins. There goes the cover. One. Two. Oh my God. I thought, oh man. This is getting weird now. Oh, Seth Rollins, out of nowhere. That's his finishing maneuver. The referee's distracted, but wait one. Oh, Big E breaks it up. You gotta be kidding me, referee. You are, you are, you're killing me, ref. You're killing me, Smalls. Oh. Seth Rollins, this is unbelievable. There was, oh. Xavier Woods kicks out. Okay. Xavier Woods, DDT to Seth Rollins. Okay. Uh-oh. Xavier Woods, springboard. Oh, that was kind of a late reaction, but whatever. Don't even worry about it. Xavier Woods, wait a minute. Uh, cold blue, I guess. That's what it's called. Xavier Woods, does he have time to pin Seth Rollins? One. Two. Oh, Dean Ambrose. He, he saw it coming. Oh, my God.
teamwork here by the New Day. Seth Rollins and Big E working on... No, Seth Rollins and Big E. Xavier Woods and Big E both working on Seth Rollins. There goes the cover. Dean Ambrose breaks it up, though. Oof, what a match. Oh, Seth Rollins with the reversal. Wait a second. Seth Rollins trying to climb the top, the top rope. Hold on a second, folks. Here we go. Rollins. Oh, Big E gets out of the way. Seth Rollins whipping Big E into the corner. What's happening right now? What's happening? Seth Rollins. Oh! Wait a second. Elbow to Big E. Teamwork, but here by the shield. The cover. One, two. Oh, right at the last moment. Dean Ambrose picks up Big E. Oh man, suplex. Cover on the Big E. One, two, dot. Dow. This is absolutely crazy right now. These, all these men are struggling to survive here in this, in this elimination match. So far, Roman Reigns and Kofi Kingston have been eliminated, but, I mean, come on. Each man has gotten so close. Dean Ambrose now back to his feet. Uh-oh, oh, nope, never mind. Oh, Xavier Woods. Clothesline to the Intercontinental Champion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, turn him around. Hey, how you doing? Wait a second. Oh, okay. Cover on Ambrose. One, two. Oh, the, the Intercontinental Champion stays in it. This is doof. Ambrose whips Xavier Woods into the corner. Hold on. Teamwork here by the Shield. I love this teamwork here. And again, it looks like the referee. I blame the referee. The referee is slow as balls, man. The referee is so freaking slow, like I don't even know what to do with myself. Uh, oh, oh, cover. One. Two. Okay. You know what? It's okay. Okay. Xavier Woods with the Hurricane Rana to Seth Rollins. But at what cost? At what cost? Oh! Kick to the ribs of Rollins. And now Xavier Woods. Uh oh, he's setting it up. He's, he's setting up the code blue once again. Here we go. He is. Xavier Woods. Code blue on the Rollins. Wait a minute. Referee, referee, you gotta be faster than that, ref. One. D d I, ah, I'm so frustrated at the referee right now. He is the, like the slowest person in the history of all of everything. I do not know what to do with myself right now. I mean, <laughs> the Shield still looking to become the number one contenders for the tag team titles. They have to go through the tag team champions to do it. And right now they're putting up a fight. I mean, this is a fight right now. Oh, uh-oh. Xavier Woods. Wait a second. Splash on the Rollins. He has an opening right now to cover him. What are you doing? Xavier Woods had an opening to, to cover. I don't know anymore. Oh. Seth Rollins tags in Dean Ambrose. Intercontinental Champion now back into the match. Oh, and Big E playing possum. Wait a second. The cover on Ambrose. One, two. What? How? What? He didn't even kick out. That wasn't the kick out. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Whatever. Whatever. You know. 
Big E, uh, uh, the cover on Dam Dean Ambrose. They, oh, uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The cover. One. Two. Got him. Uh-oh. Seth Rollins is all alone. No way. Seth Rollins is alone right now. And Big E with the submission hold on Seth Rollins. No way. And... Oh, Seth Rollins didn't tap. Oh, yes, he did. Never mind. Okay. Um, well, it looks like the Shield is not the number one contenders right now. They'll have an opportunity next week when they face off against the Usos in tag team action. Holy crap. Okay. The Shield cannot catch a break. What a match. Yeah. What's that? Oh, thank you. I'm doing my show. My mom's not excited for SummerSlam. Why aren't you excited for SummerSlam? Because she has to drive down to Brooklyn, yes. Look for a parking spot and then... Pay for the parking spot. I'm paying for the parking spot. Yeah. That's true. Food. Yes, the, the Barclays Center food is expensive. Yeah, I know. Oh, well. Six more hours till we have to leave. <laughs> here comes Randy Orton. Randy Orton, if he can beat Rusev here tonight, he will take Rusev's spot as the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So, with that being said, um... We gotta get to this match. Sorry about that. <laughs> my mom was like, oh, you gotta walk the dog, man. I said, no, I'm doing my show. She knows I'm doing my show. She said, how long is that gonna take? Like, 20 minutes. It's fine. Probably longer. <laughs> I'm to wear a CM Punk shirt to the arena. Randy Orton. Setting up. Randy Orton. Ah, oh, I knew I seen that before. <laughs> well, nevertheless, here we go with this sort of number one contenders match, I guess. You can call it a number one contenders match. We have a lot of number one contenderships after. So after uh, a pay-per-view. Oh, what is what is this? Okay. Why? Why? It's fine. Ma, what? The t-shirt doesn't have that many holes in it. No, it doesn't. Huh? I mean, I'm going to buy one at the arena. Okay. All right. So after I have been rudely interrupted five times. Randy Orton. Ooh. Need the face of Rusev. I don't, I don't know what that was after the attack by Big E. Weird. I don't know what that was about, but nevertheless, um, Big E. Um, is gonna, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have, next week we're gonna have Big E versus Rusev. What? Cause why not, right? Why not? 
and Rusev knocks down Randy Orton. Mm. I'm eating a bagel right now. This is like the most delicious bagel I've ever had in my life. Randy Orton, oh, kicks to the stomach of, of Rusev. Wait a minute, Rusev whips Randy Orton. Oh, knee to the stomach of Orton. That's got to hurt. Oh, elbow. Hold on now, Randy Orton. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And Randy Orton with a double axe handle to Rusev. There goes a the cover. You got to wonder the amount of damage that Big E just put on Rusev. Alrighty, off the bat. Are you kidding me right now? DDT, that's Randy Orton's signature maneuver, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that was quick. One, two, three. Oh my God. What? What? Why? Why? I don't understand what that was just now. Okay, um... After that attack by Big E, out of nowhere, onto Rusev, I mean, we don't know what motives Big E had for attacking Rusev. We're going to, I mean, they're going to fight next week. I don't understand. I, Randy Orton just stole the number one contender spot from Rusev. So right now, the, the main event for Night of Champions is going to be John Cena versus Randy Orton for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. That that was that was unbelievable. This is the, that was the quickest match like ever, ever ever. But is it going to be a triple threat match? We're going to find out right now because Adrian Neville, the man who has yet to win a match, <laughs> not the man that Gravity forgot, but the man who has yet to win a match, is going to take on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion John Cena. And if Neville can pick up his first victory here on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena. It will be a triple threat match at Night of Champions for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, John Cena, Randy Orton, and Neville. It'll be a triple threat match, but of course Neville has to beat John Cena to do it. But here we go right now, ladies and gentlemen. And this is exciting. I said before that, that I wouldn't mention the name, even the name of Neville's finisher. But of course, Jaren had to hit the move earlier tonight, and you you guys all saw for yourselves the red arrow. That's how Neville puts his opponents away. See now, Jaren, when he did it, Kevin Owens kicked out. But I guarantee you, if Neville hit that move on Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens would have stayed down because Neville is able to hit that move with such precision and so and such accuracy that he can make his opponent uh, fall for a three count at any moment. All right, Neville is now entered the match. And here comes the man, the only champion to retain his title at SummerSlam. The man who beat Brock Lesnar in like seven minutes with a five knuckle shuffle. Here comes John Cena. John Cena is still the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. The question is, who will be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion on September 20th? Will it be John Cena still? Will it be Randy Orton now? Or, or, just or, can Adrian Neville do it? Can Adrian Neville beat John Cena right now, here tonight, in our main event of Monday Night Walker, to become the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and make that match at Night of Champions a triple threat match. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for this confrontation right now, and I'm ready to see what Neville has in store for the champion. You gotta wonder. You have to wonder what's gonna happen. I'm excited. You should be excited.
Well, all right then, let's go. Main event of Monday Night Walker time. And here it is. Neville right off the bat. Suplex to John Cena. Neville is, 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 is oh, he's more aggressive here tonight. He knows the opportunity that he has right now. He has an opportunity to pin the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And it has been all Neville so far. Oh, but John Cena with the reversal. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, but Neville with it standing in Seguri, taking down the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And now Neville with a series of stomps. And here comes a bunch of kicks to the champion's face. And John Cena goes down. And now Neville grabs John Cena. But John Cena with a side rush. I'm like, so if you know what that move's called. Here we go. This match is going to be so physical. Oh, Neville. I thought he was going to go for the cover off of that for some reason. But he, I guess he didn't, because why not? Why would he? I mean, whatever. Neville trying to make the champion tap out right here. Oh, but John Cena, of course. Super Cena did not tap out because why would he tap out? He's John freaking Cena. I mean, let's, let's face facts here. And John Cena, I've got, oh, man, that freaking move that I've always hated. I've always hated that move. But you know what? It's whatever. John Cena grabs Neville. Oh, does like a belly to belly suplex, but from the back of Neville. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Neville, left hand of John Cena. Neville's been so aggressive stuff thus far in this match. And here comes Neville. Wait a second. Kick to the chest of Cena. Moonsault to the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And it is all Neville right now. Neville has yet to win a match, but he looks like he is dominating John Cena right now. This is unbelievable. But John Cena again. Oh, Neville goes for a chop, but John Cena with a shoulder tackle. The same old shoulder tackle by John Cena. This, that's ridiculous. Oh, Cena, oh. And Neville, oh my goodness, okay. Oh, Neville with a spinning heel kick to John Cena's gut. And John Cena dumps Neville over the ropes. Uh-oh, oh. oh. Neville goes for a springboard. John Cena catches him. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a springboard anyway. But here we go. Neville whipping John Cena catches him. And a hurricane run taking down John Cena. Wow. Neville with a kick to the spine of the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And as Cena gets back to his feet, Neville has more prepared for him. Right back at him. Whips him against the ropes. Now, oh my God. We saw that move from Dean Ambrose earlier tonight. But John Cena still getting back to his feet. Oh, oh, goes for a moonsault. John Cena gets out of the way, but Neville right back to his feet and right back on the assault with a suplex. Holy crap. John Cena with a punch right to the gut of Neville. And now, wait a second. John Cena, belly to belly suplex. Neville back to his feet. But it's what cost. Oh, Neville whips John Cena into the ropes. Oh, John Cena with a Luthes press. All right, then. John Cena. Oh, man. Face buster to Neville. And now Neville gets back to his feet. Here we go. Another kick to John Cena's leg. And another one to his chest. Neville pulling out all the stops to pin the WWE World Heavyweight Champion right now. John Cena is getting assaulted right now. Look at this. Neville. And a kick to the chest. Oh, my God. Neville with, oh, here we go. He's going to go for another springboard. Can he finally hit one? There we go. Did you see the athleticism by the part of Neville? Drop kick onto the champion. This is absolutely dominance here by Neville. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait a minute. John Cena catches him with a, looking like a pop-up power bomb. And Neville with a Hurricane Rana. This time covers him. One, two. Oh, my God. This match is still going on, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how, but it still is. I am dumbfounded by how dominant Neville has been so far in this match. Oh, John Cena's mad, though. Uh-oh. Oh, John Cena. Trying to come back here. Same old shoulder tackle. And John Cena slamming Neville down. Oh, no. No. Well, I mean, okay. 
No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. John Cena goes for the cover off the five knuckle shuffle. And Neville. Oh, Neville kicks out. Oof. That was a close one there. And another Hurricane Rana by, by Neville. Uh-oh. Neville. And again, with that springboard, John Cena's body just, did, just contorted in a weird way. And it looks like Neville's going to try to go for another springboard. Look at this. Taking down John Cena once again. Neville is... Look at this. He's going to do, do it again. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Interesting move. What? He's going to do it again. Okay. But John Cena gets out of the way. Oh, Neville with the roll-up. One, two. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is absolutely insanity right now. Neville whips John Cena, pulls him back. Here comes another Hurricane Rana. I thought he was going to go for the cover off of that. Oh, man. I am both confused but totally entertained right now by how good Neville is being right now. This is unbelievable. Neville has lost his first two matches here in World Walker Entertainment, but he, or three, first three matches, including the ladder match. Neville going for the cover here. One. Oh, but Neville found out that he was competing to become the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against the champion itself, himself. You got to believe Neville was, was here to show up and play. Oh, no. 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 What is that? Look at this. Randy Orton. Oh, man. You know what's weird? I'm breaking kayfabe for a second. I mean, I don't set up rivalries. I don't set up rivalries. I don't like that. But they just apparently knew that Randy Orton was the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, man. I kind of want to start that match over again. You know what? We're making it a two out of three falls match. I, I'm restarting it right now. It, this match is now a two out of three falls match. If Neville can beat John Cena twice now, he can become the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Here we go. Two out of three falls match. I'm serious right now. Neville. I don't play around. I'm giving Neville another shot here. But John Cena. Oh, man. He's, he's mad now. He's mad. But Neville right off the bat again with the suplex. Here we go. John Cena with a punch right to the gut of Neville. Oh, no. Neville. Okay. John Cena back up to his feet. Uh-oh. Oh, right hand to Neville. Left hand to Neville. Right hand to Neville. Kick. No, Neville catches him. Oh, my God. Okay. That's ill. Okay. You need to calm down there, Cena. You need to calm down. Neville whipping John Cena. John Cena catches him, kicks Neville in the gut. Now we're seeing a more aggressive John Cena in this match. Holy crap, John Cena again with that suplex. Oi. Look, already? Oh my god. All right. Um, okay. One. No, Neville kicks out at one. Okay. That's fine. Remember, this is a two out of three falls match. Um. Uh, okay. Um. Guess it's just going to be John Cena and Randy Orton for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at Night of Champions. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I would like to thank you all. Oh, and there's Randy Orton again. We just have to re repeat, repeat the spot. Okay. Um. I would like to thank you all for watching this episode of Monday Night Walker.
I would just like to say uh, episode 25. This was a really good episode. I'm not going to lie. This has been a really good episode. So thank you for all for watching, and we'll see you next week from Monday Night Walker, episode 25.